Hello everyone, I hope all of you are having a great time and now let's shoot for the second one of the series, Weekly Contest 278. The question that we have is, all divisions with highest score of binary array. Here in this question, we are given a binary array wherein the element can be either a 0 or a 1. And we need to divide this array into two parts. One named as a left subarray, other, other named as a right subarray. After the division, we need to perform the score operation. The division score is defined by sum of number of zeros in the left part plus the number of ones in the right part. We need to identify all the distant indices that have the highest possible division score. And we need to return those indices in the form of an array. So here they have specified an example and the output for this array turns out to be 2 comma 4. I'll be talking through the approach as well as this example by the PPT. So let's quickly move on to the PPT. All division with highest score of a binary array lead code 2155. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. So let's get started. Let's try to extract the maximum pointers from the question. Uh, the nums array is defined as starting from the zeroth index up till i minus 1. The right array is defined as starting from the ith index up till nums length minus 1 provided you make a division at the ith index. So these two corresponds to the two sub arrays provided you make the division at the ith index. If nums of if i happens to be equal to 0, then left subarray is empty, whereas the right one will have all the elements. If i happens to have all the elements that is equal to the length of the input array, then nums left will have all the elements while the right one will be empty. Also the score is given by number of zeros in the left part plus the number of ones in the right part. Now let's look at the example that was defined in the question. We have the input areas 0, 0, 1, 0. In the first go, we have no elements in the nums left subarray and the right subarray nums right has all the elements that is 0, 0, 1, 0. The value of division point for this happens to be the 0th index. So let's calculate the score contributing to such a situation the number of zeros in the left part happens to be zero so the score from this part turns out to be zero and the number of ones in the right part that is this array happens to be one so zero plus one gives us one so the score corresponding to this configuration turns out to be one let's proceed ahead let's split the array at i equals to one and as a result of which the left nums left will have an element named zero whereas nums right will have three elements 0 1 0 so let's recalculate the score the number of zeros over here turns out to be 1 the number of ones over here turns out to be 1 so 1 plus 1 gives me 2 so the score gets updated to 2 which is higher than the previously calculated one also let's proceed ahead next let's make the division at i equals to 2 and here the nums left will have two elements 0 0 nums right will have one element two elements one zero let's calculate the score corresponding to this configuration the number of zeros over here turns out to be two the number of ones turns out to be one so one plus two gives me three so the maximum score corresponding to this configuration turns out to be three which is higher than the previous one so this is pretty again awesome so far we are seeing all the higher scores as we are progressing ahead Let's look out for the next configuration, i equals to 3. So now the left nums array will have three elements, 0, 0, 1. And the score corresponding to this part will be equal to number of zeros, which is 2. The right subarray will have only one element, which is 0. So the score corresponding to this part will be number of ones, which is 0. So the score corresponding to this configuration turns out to be 2 plus 0 which is nothing but 2 this is lower than the previously calculated one pretty awesome let's move ahead next let's make the division at i equals to 4 the left sub part would be 0 0 1 0 the number of zeros here turns out to be 3 the number of ones in the right part turns out to be 0 so the score corresponding to this configuration turns out to be 3 plus 0 and this turns out to be 3. So overall, where are we seeing the maximum score? We are seeing maximum score at two positions. One this one, another one this one. The i corresponding to the division point corresponding to the this score turns out to be 2 and 4. 
Hence, it becomes the result 2 comma 4. Now, can we draw pointers out of this? The answer is yes. How? Let me just show that to you. Now, let's talk about the algorithm that we are going to use to solve this question and we'll exactly follow the same steps as I've talked here. So, let's get started. Uh, we have the input areas 0, 0, 1, 0 and the first point of division happens to be i equals to 0. So, let's take two variables left score and right score. So, by default, left score will be 0 because we are making a division at i equals to 0 and the right score will be equal to the number of ones that are present in the input array. So, how many ones are there? We have only a single, single one in the entire array. So, right score will correspond to 1. You can calculate the total score using this. So, let's proceed ahead. Uh, next, what do we see? Let's make the division at i equals to 1. So, the first element that we have turns out to be 0. As a result of which, what will happen? The left score will get updated by 1 because left corresponds to the number of zeros in the left part. Since we are making a division over here, as a result of which, the left score gets updated to 1, whereas the right score remains the same. The score corresponding to such configuration would be equal to left score plus right score, which is 2, which is in sync with our expectation. Let's proceed ahead. Now let's make the division at i equals to 2, this position. And here, what do we see? The uh, current element happens to be 0. As a result of it, the left score will get updated. So let's go, the left score gets updated to 2. Let's recalculate the total score. The right score remains the same because we are making a division over here. Uh, the total score turns out to be 2 plus 1 which is 3 which is in sync with our expectation. So you can create, create a variable that will basically act as a global variable for the max score and you can replace it as we are progressing across the division points. So far the max score that we have seen happens to be 3. Let's proceed ahead. Let's make a division at this particular position and uh, what element do we see? We see an element 1 as a result of which left score will not be updated because it corresponds to number of ones in the left part. Rather, what will happen? The right score will get reduced because one is moving towards the left subarray rather than the right one. So the right score gets up reduced to zero from one and the left score remains as it is, which is two. Total score corresponding to this configuration turns out to be two plus zero, which is two. And this is not greater than uh, the max score that we have calculated in the past, which is 3. Let's proceed ahead. Next element that we see is 0 and we are making a division at i equals to 4. So what will happen? The, the latest element is 0 as a result of which the left score will get incremented because we are adding a new 0 in the left part. So this gets updated to 3. The right score remains the same because we are not removing 1 from it. And the total score corresponding to this configuration turns out to be 3 plus 0, which is 3. Uh, we'll check it with the in comparison with the maximum global variable that we have seen. The score there is also 3. So we will keep note of the ith index at which 3 score has occurred. And it has occurred at two positions, 2 comma 4. We'll exactly follow the same steps and the time complexity for this approach is order of n. You are not using and you are not doing anything extra over the loops as a result of which the time complexity is pretty simple and straightforward which is order of n. I will be walking through the exact same steps as I have talked here in the coding section and in case you have doubts it will be clear, crystal clear in the coding part. So let's quickly move on to it. In the first go I am iterating to the input array and calculating the number of ones that are present in the input array. In the next go, I create the answer variable that will store all the indexes where the maximum score is happening and by default we add 0 to it uh, because in the first iteration we are breaking at the 0th index. Next I go ahead and create two variables, right score and left score. Right score gets updated to number of ones and left score gets updated to 0. The max score variable gets updated to right score plus left score by default in the initial step. Let's start the iteration from i equals to 0 up till the number of elements that we have. If the current element happens to be 0, that means I want to increment the left score. Otherwise, if the current element happens to be of type 1, 
that means i have to decrement the right score because one is moving from the right sub array to the left one i calculate the current score and in case my current score happens to be greater than the max score i reset my answer pointer to new array list and i update my max score to current score also i add ith index to my answer list otherwise in case my current score happens to be equal to max score i simply add it to my answer the ith index to my answer list answer list in the end we simply return the answer array that we have successfully built so let's try this up accepted the time complexity of this approach is linear also in terms of space we are using an array to create the answer and there could be case where uh, all the elements or all the indexes get stored as part of the answer so space complexity could also be equal to order of n this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye